What's going on, y'all? It's Cody, back with another review. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, you know me as C Breezy Bearded. If you're watching on Instagram, you know me as Cody underscore has a beard. And today we're going to be reviewing Kingsman Beard Club, the Holy Grail scent. And picture's not super clear, but we'll get a clearer one a little bit later on. So, let's jump into the intro, and I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so back to why you guys are all here. We're going to talk about Kingsman Beard Club. And this is going to be the Holy Grail scent. Is his oud scent. So we got the oil, we got balm, and we got butter. So let's go ahead and start with the butter as far as consistency goes. So I've used it a couple times. I really do enjoy this butter, especially at nighttime. See how nice and easy that I can push that out. So there's the. Uh... All right. Now, whoops. And it just melts down nice and easy into a, uh, it's a little bit of like a thicker, it's not as buttery, but I'm also outside and that probably has a little bit to do with that. Um, so I put this in my hands at nighttime and it just turns right into butter. Uh, so sorry about that bad representation there. Losing the phone there, guys. Sorry about that. So let's just go ahead and put that in here so we can be done with it. All right. And then uh, let's get this oil focused in. There we go. So the labeling is really, really nice. All right. Definitely, definitely a bad, badass label. I like the um, opaque bottle. And uh, let's see here. It's a nice light oil as far as color goes. And let's uh, see if we can get a good shot of the consistency here. So... I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it's, see, it's kind of a, in that light medium range as far as thickness. It's a light oil as far as color and everything, but it's more on the medium side of thickness. It's good. I like that. Oh, sorry, because I forgot to mention it. This is a really cool label, too. The butter is brand new that they just started releasing, and uh, so I was definitely excited to finally get to try this out. And then we got the bomb that i mentioned again really great label here uh i like it a lot i just wish it was a screw on lid that's the only thing and this is a as you can see i've used a good bit of this bomb over the past couple days and it's just because it's not as thick as like the bombs that i normally use because it doesn't have as much beeswax in it um it has a little bit so it's going to provide some hold but for me, I also usually have to either apply a decent little bit in the be in the beginning of the day when I'm getting up and getting ready for work to be able to get it to really last a good while, or I have to come back in and uh, hit it later on in the day to make sure my beard is still staying looking nice and professional looking when I wear my bombs. But that being said, that's not a knock on kingsman beard club at all or their products at all so this stuff i really have enjoyed it i have enjoyed the way it feels in beard uh like i said as far as the balm goes it just uh, doesn't have the amount of beeswax that i'm used to using in my balms i have a lot of thicker balms that's my preference uh but i have really enjoyed it um so let's talk about what is inside of these real quick before we break into how great these smell so, inside of the oil, it's a decent shot, uh, we're going to have 
uh, grapeseed oil, sweet almond oil, jojoba seed oil, and the uh, oud essential oil. In the butter, you got shea butter, jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, and grapeseed oil, and of course the oud essential oil. And then in the balm, you got jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, beeswax, cocoa butter, and shea butter and the essential oil oud so definitely quality ingredients in there and uh all of it it creates a really good blend as far as uh feeling beard and keeping your beard nice and soft keeping it uh you know kind of conditioned and your skin underneath nice and moisturized and not letting everything get dried out or anything like that i've really enjoyed the way it feels in beard honestly um like i said uh, I enjoy it a lot. I know it's a little bit more expensive than what a lot of people are used to uh, because this is going to be $24.99. This is going to be $24.99. And this is going to be $24.99. So, yes, it's a little on the higher end for all the products uh, because the butter is two ounces, the balm is two ounces, and the oil is in one ounce oil. So it's definitely on the higher side, but it is definitely a good product. And it is one that the biggest reason I do not mind paying that is one, I know the effort, the type of oud they're using has to be pretty darn good uh, for them to be selling it for that much. Um, because I know there's a lot of different strands of the oud essential oils and fragrance oils and all that other stuff. So they got to be using a pretty good one. Um, and it, you can tell that it's a good one when you smell it. It's just a very light and refreshing oud. It's not, now don't get me wrong, I love, I love the stanky ouds, I really do. Um, but this one is just such a nice, uh, airy oud. Like, it's not one where it's just smacking you in the face like, yep, that smells like oud. It's not that type of oud at all. And the biggest reason I don't, and that's one of the reasons I don't, <laughs> excuse me, dang God. <clears throat> I promise it's not Rona. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. So, uh, like I was saying, the biggest reason I do not mind paying that $24.99 for each one of these is because of uh, the fact that whenever I'm around my mom, and she has these oud scents that are in my beard or in my colognes. And uh, it usually will give her a headache or make her feel nauseous. Or um, even there's been times where it's given her migraines from that. So I enjoy these lighter ouds a lot uh, because that aren't as stanky. Especially when I know I'm going to be around my mom. Because they... Uh, they don't mess with her. Like, she will honestly sit there and smell this and love on this stuff all day long, which is a huge, huge blessing. So, imagine that. If your mom's going to love on it, imagine what the ladies are going to love on it. Just saying. Mama knows best, right? 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 No, not really. She gets annoyed sometimes. And it's the same thing with the, with the balm and the butter, all right? So, it's all really good quality stuff, guys. Uh, and like I know there's been tons of reviews on Kingsman Beard Club. I know they've been around. I know everybody talks about the Holy Grail scent. I know so many people don't like it. I know everybody that loves it. And I fall in the category of someone that loves the Holy Grail scent. Uh, I enjoy it a lot. And uh, I know this video is past due as far as the rest of the beard community. But I really don't care. I'm still here. I'm still going to give it to you guys. I'm still going to review for you everything that I have. And, uh, yeah, so that's where we're going with this. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I tried to provide you with as much information as I can on this product. Um, I've used it, and it feels amazing. I love it. Uh, I had a sample size for a long time of the balm and the oil, and I kept trying to make it last as long as I could until I could afford to get full-size products. So I definitely jumped on it when I could. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, as always, hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Oh, I like the video. Always like the video, guys. Uh, number one, or heck, if you even want to dislike it, dislike it. Let me know you didn't like it. I don't care. Let me know. Like, the more I know about 
uh, doing a good job or a bad job or what you like, they don't like, the better that is for me. I, I can handle constructive criticism. Or if you just want to say, hey, Cody, you suck, <laughs> fine. Tell me that. I really don't care if you think I suck because I'm still just going to keep doing my thing. So hit the comment section as well. Let me know your thoughts on this company, if you enjoy it, if you don't enjoy it, and let's talk about it. And, uh, you know, like I said, I know there's been all over the place with this company as far as everyone's opinions, and uh, that doesn't bother me. I'm fine talking about it. I love talking about that stuff. Um, you can also direct message me if you want to go to my Instagram page. I have a bunch of beard stuff on there at Cody underscore has a beard. And all this stuff's going to be linked below. Their website, uh, Instagram page, all that stuff. So uh, definitely uh, you can reach out to me on there if you want to DM me and talk there about whatever. Uh, because one of the things I really pride myself on in this community is getting to know you guys. And not just your beard stuff, not just what companies you like, not just what scents you like and all that stuff. Like I enjoy getting to talk to you, to y'all as who you are, what your family's up to, what's going on at home, uh, what's going on at work, all that type of stuff, making sure you know that you're staying healthy, uh, all that stuff. I, I just generally enjoy being a people person and getting to talk to people. Um, that's something that I really enjoy. So hopefully, if you're not already, you can go follow my Instagram page, uh, check it out, DM me, let's talk, let's get to know each other. I enjoy that stuff, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video, like I've already said, um, and I hope you have a good rest of your night. I'm going to rock some of this holy grail and uh, call it a night and go to bed because I did not go to bed until like 2.30 the other night and uh, definitely weighed on me today. So I guess even at 26, I'm starting to get old. But all right, guys, we'll catch up with y'all later.